Hey everyone, uh, my name is Alex and this is Catherine. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for joining the group chat. Thank you so much for your yes to Mary, your yes to Jesus, to consoling Mary's heart because Jesus himself asked for devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Mary herself asked for devotion to her heart. Thank you then for your yes to Mary and to Jesus and for desiring to console her heart. Thank you for that holy desire, that holy desire that we all want to have to console her heart. That's really why we are starting this group, this um, mission, this, uh, not a ministry, but it's- um, It's a mission, it's an initiative. Initiative, it's movement. it's movement, mission movement. We want to do this because we really had a desire to console Mary's heart and to do, have more devotions there, but really we were just seeing a lot in our time right now that there's a lot of just bad things happening towards the heart of Mary. Like either directly or indirectly. Or indirectly. Or indirectly. Right. So like blasphemies. I mean there's a lot of blasphemies towards Mary right now. A lot. I mean there's this book that I read, I won't go into detail, but it's really bad. Really, bad really, really bad. There's music, there's movies, there's a lot of bad things directed to Mary herself and it just it just sickens us. Um and we really want to like do something to like how can we console Mary's heart? Like Because we know, love her because she's our mother. Exactly. We want to console her. We, we want, want to make her happy. We want to console Mary's heart. Because she's very sad. So um, we decided, we prayed about it, and we decided that, you know, we uh, we wanted to do the first. So we already been doing the first Saturday devotion on our own. But after praying about it, we realized that, like, this is something that Mary herself asked for. Um, and, and so we decided that we want to do this with a group. We want to, want to make this mission, this um, this group, to to do this devotion together as a as a community so that's really the intention of us doing this is purely for the heart of mary um not really having like any personal intentions right right this is to make her happy like she loves it when one of her children even turns to her could you imagine just like all the all of her children turning to her because that was what she said too at fatima right she said this too at fatima um when she appeared in her apparitions she said that this also can help bring peace to souls and save the world. Right, right. It, this this devotion comes from the devotion to the apparition of Fatima. There's a lot of things that have happened at Fatima. The Mary appeared early 1900s, and she said a lot of things. But we're going to focus on this part, which Mary specifically asked that she wants to establish a devotion to her Immaculate Heart. And one of the ways she asked was to console her heart through the first Saturday devotions, which is what we're doing now. And so. Just to kind of like explain what this devotion is, um, it consists of four things that are really easy. So Mary is Mary asked for these. She says on the first Saturday of five consecutive months, it means five in a row without skipping one, that you go to confession, you receive Holy Communion, preferably in Mass, you pray five decades of the Rosary, which is the regular Rosary that we know today, and then also an additional 15 minutes meditating on one of the mysteries of the Rosary. It's keeping our company keeping her company she, she used the words keep me company by meditating yeah. on 15 minutes on the, on the mrs rosary and so um yeah it, it really isn't that much she's asking for for five for five first saturdays and and in return and we're consoling her heart we're doing something like like i mean mary could have asked for anything she could have said you know go to you know the shrine of you know whatever in rome and do this and do all these crazy things and this will console me you know she could have because you know we owe everything to mary but she didn't yeah, she could have asked for all these things and she just she would deserve it you know right and we do it if she asked <laughs> she's you know fly to italy every year you know for five years right. you know we do it but she didn't she says so easy she says, go to confession because she wants our souls to be clean receive jesus in the eucharist because she knows that that's the that's the greatest thing our console can have pray her rosary which is the greatest weapon that we have and then just spend time with her meditating on one of the mysteries of rosary and like it's just so simple and it's so motherly it's i know anything that a mother would want for her child right just spend uh, time with me and be holy right and i think a very important part of this devotion is that she asks us to do these four things five months in a row on the first saturday but to do this with the intention of of making reparation to her heart which is essentially consoling her heart in other words so when we do these these different things when we when we when we go to confession you know we do so with doing like mary like I'm, I'm i'm offering this confession to console you like 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 call recall the moment at the, at the cross where mary witnessed her son die on calvary for our sins jesus died for us to receive that confession to receive that absolution like be with mary in that moment when we receive jesus in the eucharist you know like remind mary of the incarnation when mary received jesus in her body you know like just how we're receiving jesus in the eucharist like like console her in this way as like we, we recall these moments in her life 
um, when we receive, when we pray the rosary, like really like recall her presence. Like when you pray in the rosary, like know that Mary is right there next to you. And when we're doing the 15 minutes, do so with the intention of just keeping her company. And this will make our mother so happy and so pleased and so delighted. Cause she keeps us company all the time. She really, she, she keeps us company every time we're consoled, every time we're sad, and every time that we are have any type of consolation, it's Mary. It goes through her heart. And so this is the one time that we get to tell Mary, you know, Mom, today I want to keep you company. You know, you. I'm here for you. And it's it's like a baby. It, it, our, our consolation to Mary is, in of itself is nothing because we don't we don't do it correctly. We're, we're so poor, we're so weak. But it's almost like a little child, you know, seeing her, its mother cry and you know, it's like, like like you know pat, pat her on the back you know i love that i see that I see and, that kids do that and even though that so even though the baby doesn't know what it's doing it's not doing it correctly but like loves it. it's the love of the child that consoles the heart it's when the mom sees that the child tries to love her that that just warms and melts the heart of any yeah. mother and that's all we're doing really here that's all we're doing is just warming the heart of mary and because she's just so hurt she's so hurt right now um and so this is our intention we want to do this for mary and this is the devotion um side note not side note but caveat the confession part so again i'm going to reiterate the four things confession receiving holy eucharist receiving holy eucharist the rosary, the rosary 15 minute meditating. and 15 minutes meditating or just reflecting on one of the mysteries of the rosary you choose choose one it could be you want to do the first glorious mystery you want to meditate on the resurrection for 15 minutes go for it you want to do you know the the wedding feast at cana the yes. second luminous mystery go for it you want to do the annunciation do it do it do it. Just take 15 minutes and just meditate on that mystery. Open your Bible, read that scripture verse, and just keep Mary company. Anyways, the confession part. Jesus said that doesn't have to be the uh, the other part. The other three have to be in the first Saturday, but the confession, the it can be done eight days prior to the first Saturday or eight days after the first Saturday. Granted that when you receive the communion on the first Saturday, you're in the state of grace. Mm -hmm. That if we're in the state of mortal sin, do not receive Jesus in the Eucharist. Go to confession right away. But it, it, we, but it, we could do the confession part of this obligation eight days after the first Saturday and kids were busy or whatnot, that's fine. Or eight days prior. But I think it's better to do it on the first Saturday if, if you can. Yeah, just to keep the routine. If you can, but if you can't, don't, don't worry. Also, it must be consecutive five times, right? So um, five first Saturdays. However, we have decided that this mission, we're not gonna be doing it for five times and then call it quits. We want to continue doing this perpetually. So every first Saturday, we're not doing it five times. We're going to do it every every first Saturday. So if for any reason, if you miss if you miss one of the five first Saturdays and you're not consecutive, don't worry, don't be discouraged. Just start over again because we're going to keep at it. We're going to continue doing this over and over and over again. So and the first, so two out of the four uh, obligations that we have towards our mother on that day, we're going to be doing it together. Right. That is this is the Cafe Comedia part. Out of the four obligations for the devotion we wanted to two of them together as a group now this is not we're not asking everyone to do this um if you can't make it you're it's okay the the most importantly this group is that we're all doing this encourage each other encourage each other to do this, remind each other but i live in broward for those who are able to make it to our area we want to go to mass together so the closest church we're going to go to is saint mark the evangelist at the 8 a.m mass on saturday morning and then we're going to come meet at my house and we're going to do the rosary together, but we're, it's going to be like a fellowship. Um, I'm going to be making cafe con leche. I'm going to be providing the Maria cookies. That's why the cafe con Maria is But little, also Maria. The Maria, la Maria. The Maria cookies, right? You get it? Sí, sí, sí. The cookie, la virgen. La virgen, yeah, see. Sí. Um, and so, but however, even though I'm providing coffee and cookies, I am inviting everyone who comes. Not everyone has to, but I would like to invite people, if you feel called to, to bring something as well. You know, because a coffee and cookies may not be enough for everyone so if you want to bring you know some pastries pastelitos uh you know little little cakes what anything really it's anything small to also share um as part, of the fellowship. as part of the fellowship also i only have like two tables so if anyone has a table as well you can bring a table you know if multiple people come if we have a lot of people come then i hope that you guys may bring a table um and i would also ask everyone to bring your own chair i don't have a lot of chairs here in my place so um, if you do plan on coming, um, just bring like a little lawn chair or any chair really. We're going to be outside. We're going to be outside. So um, just bring a chair if you can. Share this video with other people who may not know about the first Saturn devotion and maybe want more information about it. Yes. And 
maybe then they'll want to join the group chat and then also to stay connected and informed and encouraged to, to perform the devotion wherever they are. Right, yeah. Please send us videos, share it around. People can join us as well. So we're, For the Immaculate Heart of Mary. For the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Console her to bring her delight and happiness because she's our mother and she deserves it. Amen. So we're going to close with a prayer to St. Joseph because we have consecrated this mission to St. Joseph. And we have asked him to take care of this and to guide us and all of us who are part of this. So we're going to close with a, a, a prayer to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Joseph, son of David, do not fear. Jesus will save his people from their sins. O St. Joseph, Virgin Father of Jesus, and most pure spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us daily to the Son of God, that armed with the weapons of his grace, we may fight as we ought in life and be crowned by him in death. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you guys. I'll see you on Saturday, May 7th, if you can make it. Thank you guys. Bye.